Earlier this month, we told you about the special bond between canine officers and their handlers who do amazing and life saving work. Now, there's a new resource for local police officers and their canine co workers that has arrived at the Barbersville Park in West Virginia. Our 13 News reporter Andy Bernhardt tells us more. Today, local law enforcement and the community came together to celebrate a new space for their hardworking canine companions. After a year of planning and preparing, a new canine agility course for the Huntington and Barbersville Police Department is coming to life. The goal of the facility is to provide a space where officers and their canines can properly train to give them confidence and make them effective and efficient in the field. It's all thanks to the local organization Spikes Canine Fund. Who started the project? And the cause hits close to home for founder James Hatch, a retired special warfare operator and canine handler whose life was saved by a canine after he was critically injured. I served in combat with dogs and they saved my life, and I've seen police officers since I've been home who've been saved by their dogs. Sometimes they have to sacrifice their lives for that, and so we need to do everything we can to help them be prepared. While the course was built at Barbersville Park, any local police departments with canines are welcome to use. The facility. Community members are welcome to come out and help finish the park Saturday at 9. In Barbersville, Andy Bernhardt, 13 News, working for you.